everybody, Rick Needham and Andy Capping, Thoroughbred Racing on Sunday afternoon, July the 10th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 at Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, 2.04 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile 70 yard test on the dirt track, three-year rolls and up race for an allowance purse of $47,000. Contenders number 4, Tar Beach, number 2, Marching Tune, number 1, Uniquely, and number 6, Dapper Devil. Number four, Tar Beach, takes a class drop of six units this afternoon as the speed leader in this allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile 70 yards on the dirt. He's turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including a power run win in his fifth race back, facing better company in that race than he'll face in this field today. Jockey Rosario Montanas and trainer Keith LeBaron sent him post for today. They've whacked the toe board with 62% of their entry saddles the team to date. Number two, Marching Tune, the morning line favorite, is the pace profile leader. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five starts, winning twice in his recent streak of racing consistency. Race five summary, number four, Tar Beach tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, Marching Tune, Number one, uniquely, and number six, Dapper Devil, 4216 in the fifth from Parks Racing. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Ellis Park in Kentucky, opening this week, race five, number five, BL's Tsunami, six to one in the morning line. Trackmaster plus Power Pony qualifier is the overall speed leader in this start starter allowance field. His recent past performance sheet show a power run win in his second race back. Lone Star Park in Texas, race 5, the 8-1 to one shot, number 8, Lanes Ride, takes an 8-level class drop as the speed leader in his maiden field, sprinting at 5 furlongs on the dirt. So from Parks Racing, or Philadelphia Park, as I still remember it as Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.